So today we're going to be talking about plotting coordinates on the Cartesian plane. You will see the Cartesian plane, excuse my dog, um, the Cartesian plane looks like this. It goes horizontal and this is the x-axis and it goes vertical, this is the y-axis. The way I remember it is y-axis. Y is the one standing up and down. Alright, and these are like two number lines that are overlapping each other. This is the one that we're used to going from left to right, from negative to zero to positive. And then the horizontal, uh, the vertical one goes negative below the line and positive above the line. And zero is in the middle, so it's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. Alright, so the x-axis moves left and right and the y-axis up and down. Together they make up the Cartesian plane or the 2D plane. And you'll see you can move left and right, you can move backwards and forwards, but you cannot move into the page and out of the page. Alright, so we already mentioned that, that, that there are like two number lines. The horizontal one is the x-axis, the vertical one is the y-axis. So let's plot these coordinates. Now there are a few things that you need to remember here. We always want the coordinates in the form x then y. It's always x coordinate first and then y coordinate. Um, <clears throat> if you struggle to remember that, think alphabetically. It's x, y, z, so x, y, and z. Alright, um, these are like a ordered pair. This is like the address of each point. All right. So this would be, let's say, the street name, and this would be the particular house on that street, just as an example. So let's look at x coordinate 2. x is this axis here, and it's 2 on this line. Okay, so it's 2 over here, and you can make a dotted line. You don't have to. And then this is the y-axis, all right? And on the y-axis, we want 3. And this is 3 over here. And where the two lines meet, that's where you're going to make your dot. This is the coordinate A, which is 2 and 3. All right, so let's try doing a point without coloring them in, without doing these lines. Apologies for that. Um, let's try this one, B. So negative 1 is over here on the x-axis, so it's that line there. And then negative 2 on the y-axis is over here, so it's going to be negative 1 and negative 2 over there. That's the coordinate B, negative 1. Oh, sorry. This is negative 1 and positive 2. There we go, negative 1 and positive 2. And I would re-record, but I've tried recording this quite a few times already. All right, um, then over here, this is my x-axis and my y-axis. x-axis over th 3, and then negative 2. x, 3, y, negative 2. So there. That's my point C, 3, and Then let's try for D, negative 3 and negative 4. Negative 3 is over here on the x-axis, and negative 4 is over here on the y-axis, where the two meet. That's my point D. That's negative 3 and negative 4. All right, and then let's have a look at what happens when one of the coordinates, one of the values, is 0. So let's look at x, 0, and y, 3. Okay, x is 0 over here, and y is equal to 3 over there. So clearly this point here is E, where x is 0 and y is 3. This is on the y-axis, so any coordinate that is on the y-axis will have an x value of 0, and that's important to understand for sketching straight lines and then let's have a look at this one x is 3 and y is 0 so it's 
here. This is the point F, which is 3 and 0. For any coordinate on the x-axis, the y value is 0. And again, that is quite important to understand. I hope that is uh, helpful. We will talk about sketching straight lines in the next video.